Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to WoW Classic and our Season of Mastery playthrough. We are going to wrap up some things here in Red Ridge Mountains today. We are heading out to do Solomon's Law, and I'm putting a group together for Lieutenant Fangor. It's not an elite quest, uh, but it does um, probably benefit us to be in a group, just because I feel like the area out here is pretty thick with gnolls. And we need Shadowhide Pendants as well, so the more gnolls we can kill out here, the better. And that's probably going to be better in a group. So that is what we're going with. We might not fill this group up, like three people might do quite nicely. We have uh, a Paladin, and well, we have two Paladins and ourselves, so... It's not the most diverse group. Not the most diverse group, but it could get the job done. Well, we lost one. So yeah, maybe we do need to look for a couple more. People are very fickle. Oh good, that was all you needed. <laughs> oh, we got Fangor's paw! Guys, that happened so fast that I honestly didn't notice that we killed Fangor. But yeah, there he is. He's totally dead. And it happens that quickly. So if you want to know where Fangor is at, he was right here at the crossroads. Uh, yeah, I, I expected that to be a little bit of a search and find. So now that we have one pendant, I guess we're going to get the other pendants on our own. Uh, which is absolutely fine. Because they're all level 24. I think after this, we're going to be going to Darkshire. Uh, because I said I was watching this, waiting for it to go green, and it finally went green. I, I don't want to lose out on any of the quests uh, in Duskwood, so we're going to head there as soon as we turn these two in. And yeah, that is kind of the plan. I'm going to try to avoid the rest of the wetlands. Will that happen? Is it going to be possible? I, I don't know, but I'm going to give it a shot. Because I haven't really been enjoying the wetlands. And it's a really large area to have to traverse when you're not enjoying it. So yeah, I'm going to try to skip it. And we'll see how that goes. Still feel like it would probably be easier with a group, so maybe if I see anybody else fighting in the same area, like obviously fighting the gnolls, we will invite them and get them into our group here. Like yeah, if we, if we pull a pat like this on our own, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be in trouble. What about you, Bakan? You seem like you're out here fighting gnolls, but you don't want a group uh, because why would you? Culex, you seem like you are low on health and could really use someone... No? Okay. Alright, cool. Perfect. That's fine. Nobody wants to group with us. I could, like, whisper them, you know, before just tossing an invite, but I feel like if you get an invite and you're questing in an area, you might as well take the invite and see if the person is near you. And if they're near you and they're killing the same things as you, then we really don't have to have a big conversation about it, do we? I'm not the most social person, as like some of you guys have probably figured out and or guessed. So, so to me, I'd rather just toss an invite and see who joins up, than to try to whisper somebody and have a conversation with them about the kill quest. Just kind of want them to figure it out organically, like maybe they see us. And they think, that player wants to kill these gnolls with me. Uh, but that's not happening here, so we are at 2 out of 10, and thus far, all on our own. And the problem with that is it takes groups like this off the table. Like, that would be a great, great place to be. Uh, you look like, you look like you need help. Look at that, you needed help and you were like, I need help so badly that I will take this invite and I will, I will cross my fingers and hope.
And yeah, there we go. Even if it's just two people, it's going to be easier than just doing it all solo. Uh, because we'll be able to take pulls that we wouldn't want to take on otherwise. I see you there, assassin. Don't think that you're getting away. Yeah, we've got a Dark Weaver coming up behind us. I feel like we could just take this roving pack on, right? It's totally fine. We, got, we have some cleave that we could do. We can do some cleave, so we can do that. Alright, it's going pretty well. We are a little bit low on health. We'll, we'll bandage up after this one. Don't have a lot of potions right now because we don't have a lot of materials to make said potions. We are rocking our new two-handed mace and I'm pretty sure our skill is finally up to a point where we are almost hitting for max damage on it. Yeah, 126 out of 140, not quite. We're not quite there yet, but, but we will be soon. I did train our level 26 skills. Among those skills, we got a second rank of charge. And I don't think there was anything else that was really either new. Oh yeah, we got, it is. We got, uh, we got Challenging Shout. That is new, and it is really important. Forces all nearby enemies to focus on us. So for those big pulls, when we're just kind of losing control of things in a dungeon, uh, we can just toss that out and get everybody focused on us all at once. Well, I didn't want to stumble into that whole group on our own, did we? Uh, we're going to pop this last potion, but it's probably not going to do a lot of good. And we're going to pop our fear, and then we're just going to kind of run over here. And hope that everything falls off of us, and that we have a chance to heal up. Uh, I don't know about falling off of us. Maybe fell onto our buddy. I don't know why they weren't just kind of hightailing it like we were. Uh, she's got a bubble, so she'll probably get away. This last guy is gonna have to give up eventually, right? Yeah, there we go. Alright, well that was... not great. Could have been worse. Still need five more Shadowhide Pendants, so let's get ourselves back in here. And I will drink some more coffee. Uh, we're gonna avoid the four pack over there. Maybe we go for something like- oh no, no, they're reforming.
the respawn rate here seems uh, pretty cranked up. And the drop rate has kind of dropped off the map, hasn't it? We've got one back here to loot. Alright, 6 out of 10. Alright, let's take on this camp over here. We're going to focus on the Dark Weaver first. Uh, I don't really want all of that, so let's just send it scattering while we kind of... Well, that works. It's fine. Let's fight him over here. Uh, we're still in combat. I'm going to do a bandage here. I'm not sure if there's actually one left alive or if we're just stuck in combat because, you know, it's classic. Oh no, we do have somebody up here taking shots at us. Alright, well now we're still stuck in combat, which is kind of troubling because it means we can't charge. Which we really want to be able to do to initiate combat. Hopefully after this guy it'll fix itself. Uh, nope, still hasn't fixed itself. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, you're gonna run in there when you're, like, not full on mana? Okay, well, that's a choice that a person can make. I don't know if I would make that choice myself, but... Well, that worked. Uh, definitely don't want our buddy to die, even if they did decide to pull this. Well, the good thing is that we're getting a lot of wool. We only have four more pendants to go. Uh, we are about to get jumped here.
we probably tagged some and didn't get a tag on others, so it's fine. We'll turn some floating health bars on here so we can see a little bit better exactly what's going on and where we need to prioritize. Okay, it looks like we lost these ones, which is a little bit weird, but it's fine. Two more pendants to go. Uh, we can't charge. Uh, we got an item that begins a quest. Do not be alarmed, I am Theocritus, High Mage of Tower Azora in Elwyn Forest. The pendant you are holding is a method of communication between the Shadowhide Knolls and their master Morganth. Okay. Oh, hi there. Let's see, through months of research, I believe I too can communicate through these pendants. If you hear this message, then my spell was a success. Bring me this pendant and I will reward you. We know where that tower is. We've passed that tower in Elwian many times. Ah, uh, yeah, and one more and then we can be done with this. Who is going to be the lucky gnome? I guess, I guess we can head back this way. And by gnome, I mean Noel. Yeah, let's head back to the west. We don't need to head any further to the east. That is it. And we do need this Briar Thorn though, so let's go ahead and we'll drop group. Strong Troll's Blood Potion would regenerate 6 health every 5 seconds for an hour. Uh, that could actually be really useful. Just for passive regen between combats. So I'm going to make that and I'm going to use it. And we need more Briar Thorn for that as well. Just like we need Briar Thorn and Bruiseweed for the healing potions, we need the same ingredients for the Strong Troll's Blood Potion. Elixir of Defense I have not been able to make yet. I haven't gotten any Wild Steel Bloom. But I'm kind of hoping that we'll run into more of that in Duskwood. Alright, I'm excited to get these turned in because like I said, it means that we can kind of uh, get out of this area. And maybe not have to come back. And if I'm really lucky, I won't have to spend a lot more time in the wetlands either. I want to do these elite quests, but as you can see, I did go up there and check on them. And they're a higher level. So once this one is orange, and this one is yellow, then we could do them. Just to kind of have them done. Uh, but yeah, right now we're going to have to wait. Uh, we did hit level 27. I did a bunch of fetch quests off recording where I had to run around and talk to people in Stormwind. Uh, we flew over to Westfall and Darkshire and just talked to the mares there. Got a little bit of experience, so we're going to put our point here into two-handed weapon specialization. 
So now we've got three points in that. And yeah, I think I'm just ready for a fresh zone and to feel like we're making some steady progress. It's felt a little bit slow for the past few days, and part of that has been because I haven't been able to play a lot. Uh, but the other part was that I was struggling to find groups for the Elite Quest. I was really trying to get those finished up, and it was a struggle to get a competent group. We finally got really lucky and finished those two quests up, and even got a third Elite Quest that I didn't even know about. So that is all done now, and now maybe our progress will pick up a little bit. And I think pretty soon we'll be able to do Normorgon. I don't think I'm going to do it until level 30, just as a tank I want to be on the higher end of the level, of the leveling curve, and I think it's it goes to like level 33, is the high end. So yeah, I want to be kind of towards that high end. Definitely don't want to be one of the lower uh, levels in the group, not as the tank. Uh, let's see what we can do here as far as clearing our inventory out. We need that. Uh, the Briar Thor needs to go up here. And that's about all we can do. Oh, we don't need this. See you later. Good day to you. See you later. Need help? For the Alliance. Alright guys, there we go. Uh, that was actually... Was that everything? Yeah, we don't have any other quest here in Red Ridge, so... Uh, it's possible that I missed something, but I think we are good here. I don't think that we will have to come back. And yeah, I'm going to take us over to Darkshire and start picking things up there. We have only 13 out of 20 quests in our log, so that's good. And if I had to, I'd probably drop these non-elites. Uh, but for now, we'll hold on to them. It's like stuff that would be easy to do. We have an easy kill quest up the coast from, uh, from Menethil Harbor. And then all the way out to the east of the zone, we have uh, Dragon Ball War Banners. That we can work on. So those are like easy quests. I'd like to hang on to them just in case. It could be something that I do if I, if I have a little bit of time where I can play, but I'm, I'm not set up to record. Maybe I can just do those on my own. Uh, just for the experience. But yeah, for now let's head down to Darkshire and see how things stand there with the other quest we can grab. Luckily, it's not a very long flight. I see it is quite rainy this evening in Duskwood. And yeah, quite an aesthetic change from where we've been. It's going to be a little bit uh, to get used to, but I think a fresh area will be a good change of pace for us. And historically, this is one of my favorite zones. So we'll see how things go this time. Uh, I'm just going to start grabbing these. We'll take a look at them as we go. Need help? Uh, the Legend of Stalvon. Last night, a horrible disturbance rippled through my veins. I sensed that my granddaughter, Elissa, was in great danger. I consulted the cards, and death stared up at me from the table. After taking a long journey through a dark trance, I was able to uncover a clue to this terrifying mystery. A name came to me. The name Stalvon. Go with honor, Talk to the clerk. That's like well a long then. fetch quest chain, if I remember right. The Stalvon quest, but we need to do it. Uh, let's see, the Totem of Infliction. As the mystical taint creeps through the forest, the need for self-protection is undeniable. The winds whisper to me and they speak of a great danger, which waits patiently for you in the near future. 
If you wish to protect yourself, noble warrior, bring me ten ghoul things, ten skeleton fingers, and five vials of spider venom. Farewell. Fair enough. Uh, let's check over here. Light be with you. Worgen in the woods. Darkness seems drawn inexorably to Duskwood. Master Kervin's quest is the expulsion of evil and heresy. Through our efforts, are the people of Darkshire kept safe? You believe yourself worthy to join us? I once thought as you, disillusioned by the complacency of the Watch. I join Master Kervin. If you wish to prove yourself, it will not be through words. Test your skills against the Nightbane Shadow Weaver Worgen in Brightwood Grove. Go with honor, friend. All right. Cool. Uh, what's going on in here? Light be with you. Wow, we have a lot of stuff to do. Raven Hill. Something's amiss at Raven Hill. Kaler swears that someone or something is haunting the buildings there. Two nights running, he's noticed the shadows moving. And the third before that, he says he saw light in one of the windows. Uh, Raven Hill, okay. Light bless you. The Hermit. There was an old man who used to come into town to buy supplies rather frequently, but I haven't seen him for quite some time now. He lives out in that shack overlooking Raven Hill Cemetery. If I remember correctly, perhaps you should go see if something is amiss. Be careful. King's honor, friend. And delivery to Sven. Sven is out uh, to the west. I guess I should check upstairs too. Um, it's the only way to be sure. Yep, nothing going on up here. Nothing going on over at the forge, but it's a good opportunity Hello. to go ahead and repair our armor. What are you looking for? There we go. Light bless you. We're gonna check out the inn, and we will set our hearthstone here as well. Open for business. Let's just have a good old look around, so we don't miss any quests. Nothing going down in the cellar. And nothing else going on up here either. Talk to the clerk. Let's see. Travel to Moonbrook. He's going to send us to the Moonbrook schoolhouse. Yeah, We're going to have to do that maybe soonish. Oh, Raven Hill is already gray. That's kind of weird um, and unfortunate, but we're going to have to prioritize that. I don't really know where that's at. Raven Hill. Alright, so we're headed out to the west. We're gonna go talk to Sven, and I'm pretty sure that Raven, that's where Raven Hill is at, is where Sven is. On the way, I also picked up a quest from a guard uh, for Eight-Legged Menace. This is back at the crossroads here. So we're looking for Venom Web Spiders Pygmy. Venom web spiders. Not sure where these guys are at, but the thing about the quest was he didn't have the exclamation mark above his head. So even though the quest is green, it's really, really close to being a low level quest because it didn't present it to us. So I kind of want to get it done uh, immediately just to get whatever experience it is we're going to get from it. Uh, but I don't really know where the pygmy venom spiders are at. Oh, hi there. Here is a Defias Night Runner. Don't know if I've ever seen you before. Was just trying to kind of reveal this area to see what this is down here. Adelstead, did we? Okay, we got it. Perfect. 
And so, I guess Raven Hill must be just to the north of here. There we go. You need something? And we'll talk to Jitters. See you around. Hello. Jitters has some quests for us that aren't showing up. I guess I should have came here at level 25 or 26, guys. Uh, speak with Chef Grawl. Safe okay, travel. great. We have to do some more running around. Uh, let's go check over here. I want to check the coast and see if we find any of these spiders. I remember fighting spiders on the coast. I just don't know if they were pygmy venom spiders. Uh, we have some other things. Skeletal horrors. Not something we need yet. Green Recluse is out here. Uh, we've discovered the Raven Hill Cemetery. Which means that the Hermit's House is going to be somewhere over here. Venom Web Spiders are out here, but no Pygmy Venom Spiders. So I'm not sure what that means. Uh, deliveries to Sven. This is going to go to a camp over here, I believe. And I guess we're going to have to hearth back to town and then run all the way back out if we want to do anything with Jitters, because even this follow-up is still gray. Yeah, I guess I screwed up a little bit. Um, it's going to cost me some time, but... Shouldn't be a big deal in the long run. Greetings. Light bless you. King's honor, friend. Sven's revenge. Go to Sven's farm and find what was buried behind the old stump. Used to work on one of the farms to the southeast. Go with honor, friend. Uh, I'm assuming he means this farm. He he could mean the Jorgensen farmstead. I guess that that is to the southeast. This is also south and east. Uh, what we're going to do instead is I'm going to come north of the graveyard here and see if maybe we can talk to the hermit. I don't really like doing all of this running around without really having a quest to work on. Uh, but it's what I'm going to do for now. We're kind of getting off to like a weird little bit of footing here in the zone. It's a little bit awkward. The pygmy venom webs, I have no idea. I guess they could be anywhere back over here. I, I didn't see spiders over this way. Oh, look. Here's some bodies. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, this is a normal venom web. Even the regular venom webs are, are too low to even give us experience, so... Where in the hell are the pygmies? Yeah, this is going to be an interesting zone. Uh, we'll see how all of this goes. Hey there. Have a good one. What can I do for you? Supplies from Darkshire. What is a poor old man to do? I need some supplies from Darkshire, but the village is so far away and I am so old and feeble, I would never make the trip. See you around. Sure you are. Sure you wouldn't. 
This is legit, right? It's totally fine. Just an unearthed grave right outside your house. Totally normal. Not a problem at all. I guess I'm going to keep going this way and just kind of loop around to Darkshire. I need to see if I can find any pygmy. Like, I need this pygmy. And we're not getting it. <laughs> uh, I need it because we need 15 and I've seen like two corpses and that's been it. Yeah, I don't need the Venom Web. It's kind of becoming clear there's not going to be an area where I can just find Pygmy Venom Web spiders, is there? It's going to be hit or miss, and which means for me I'm going to be missing most of the time. Uh, but we'll run this whole way and see what happens. I really don't want to fight anything else. Here we go. Maybe we can make one step towards completing this quest. I am a little bit, uh, I guess I'm a little bit annoyed at myself, because I, I didn't think we were going to out-level anything here. I, I thought I was using the right quest as a baseline, but apparently there were other quests that were even lower level than that. Uh, that I should have picked up and I should have been watching those instead. And because of that, we're going to suffer um, a lack of experience in some cases and wasted time in others. And also, if this zone is showing up really dark, let me know, guys, and I will adjust my gamma settings. I know that YouTube sometimes darkens things a little bit. Even when you're publishing in 4K at like a higher bitrate like I am, it does tend to darken some things. So let me know if it needs to lighten up a little bit. Alright, I am going to head back to town, uh, mainly because we need to get this quest for Sven going. That's kind of a huge pain. I, I think we need to figure out how we can find some pygmy venom web spiders on the way. Uh, and not Sven, Jitters. We need to get Jitters as lunch. I mean, we could circle back the same exact way we just came. We could do that. 
Uh, is that the best thing to do? Maybe. Probably not. Uh, but we could do that. We could try to get up here and work our way this way. Uh, I just don't think we're going to find a lot of spiders down on the road to the south. So if we do want to work on this, then the north is probably where we have to go. I think once we clear these low-level quests, we're going to be in really good shape to do the rest of the zone. It's just going to be a really slow start, it seems like. Greetings. There is a poor, sad spirit, Blind Mary, who haunts an old farmhouse in the hills south of Darkshire. Here, take this spectral comb and ask Blind Mary to comb her hair. Then bring back the comb and I will glean from it the ghost hair I'll need for the thread. Farewell. This is where we start doing work for somebody who's clearly a necromancer. Uh, if we had any wits about us, we'd be able to dissemble that immediately. But we don't, because we are a World of Warcraft character. What can I do for you? You need some crab cakes, do you? Yeah, we do. Yeah, there's six gooey spider legs. Okay, Alliance. yeah, we're... <laughs> Great, we need lots of spider things. We need vials of spider venom, we need to kill 15 pygmy spiders, and we now we need other spider parts. So, yeah, all of the spider parts, all of the time. We're gonna follow our little plan here. Yeah, see, even this one. This... Oh, good, we already have some of this. That's, that's actually perfect. Yeah, let's see if we can get up into the plateau here, uh, where we might actually find some enemies. Is there going to be a way up? Potentially not. Potentially we are going to get stuck somewhere rather stupid. Alright, let's go this way. Alright, Brightwood Grove. What is going on out here in Brightwood Grove? I'm not seeing a lot of things. Black Ravager Mastiff. Okay, we, we don't need that. Nightbane Shadow Weaver. Uh, I don't think we need that. Yeah, so we don't need to be down here at all. Let's Let's just head north, shall we? If we need Nightbane Worgen and, Night and Black Ravager Mastiffs, this is the place to be. But I don't think we need those things now, and I don't know if we're going to need them in the future either. I'm thinking that there's probably a wolf quest that we don't have. It seems a little bit weird. Everyone is fighting wolves, and it's probably one of those low-level quests that uh, didn't pop up and present themselves to us because we are a higher level. I'm just hoping stuff like that doesn't chain into anything important.
Now we're having a little bit better luck this time working our way back. I feel like we found a few more that were actually up. I bet the other types of spider would, would still drop the spider venom and the spider legs we need. Uh, but we're going to focus down our pygmies first. The question is, at, at what point, if ever, should I turn back around and start working my way back? Because there didn't seem to be too many of the pygmies over here to the west. So, oh, and there are a crap ton of wolves that we just simply don't need. And that's obviously going to get annoying as well. Yeah, I'm just not seeing any of the pygmies over here. Uh, let's keep going a little bit further. Lots of wolves, though. An absolutely annoying amount of wolves, considering the fact that we don't have a quest. All right, we've got all of our pygmy spiders. We've got all of our, we've got our ghost hair. We've got the crab cakes. Let's go ahead and get some of the stuff turned in. And then we're gonna make our way all the way back out to the west. I didn't use the hearthstone yet, so still got that up our sleeve when we want well to done. travel quickly. And then yeah, returned to jitters, okay. Eight-Legged Menace, Watcher Dobbs. This is to Blind Mary. She is, where is she at? The old farmhouse to the south. I'm thinking we might as well go do this um, on the way to the west. So that will kind of be our plan. We'll come down here, we'll do uh, Blind Mary. And then we're going to head out to the west. We might stop along the way if we run into a patch of skeletal warriors and mages. Maybe we'll do that. I don't think any of that would get us a level. Like, all we have to do is get out to Jitters and get this turned in. Uh, these two right here. Just to get some quest experience for them. Uh, but that'll kind of be our plan, and then we'll just play it uh, by ear from there. So yeah. Let me know what you guys think of Duskwood so far. Love to hear from you guys in the Discord about your own adventures in the season of Mastery. And take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Azeroth sometime soon. Bye now.